Happy 4th of July and welcome to LVTV's coverage of the 4th of July Parade in Old Town Laverne. I'm Billy Lopez. And I'm Haley Gomez and thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful 4th of July morning. And Haley, we lucked out. Beautiful weather today. The sun is barely creeping out of some clouds this morning and only 84 degrees today. And, you know, we got so lucky that this morning, you know, like you just said, the clouds are low, but now the sun is out and it's going to be a great day. What's something that you're looking forward to in this parade? Well, I'm looking forward to not only everybody coming together as a community, but of course, I'm also looking forward to the dogs. I love dogs. And not only the <laughs> dogs, but also the little kids today exactly, are going to be out today. Exactly. And joining us on our street today is JC Theory. JC. Hi, guys. I'm actually right outside of Miss Donuts with Carrie and her family. So, Carrie, what brought you out here to today's parade? This is, uh, we come every year. This is something that we do. We come to the parade down here. We go to my parents, go swimming, have a barbecue, watch fireworks. So it's tradition. So do you have plans later on tonight after um, the events of the parade? Fireworks at our house. Yeah. Thank you so much, Carrie. I'll send it back to you guys, Billy and Haley. Well. It's time to thank our sponsors for the parade today. Skyrocket Sponsors, Fairplex, Gilead Sciences, and Waste Management. Firecracker Sponsors, 986 Pharmacy 800 Incorporated. Alosta Brewing, Cafe Wang Chinese Fusion and Bar. Casa Colina, Civil Tech Engineering Incorporated. Damien High School, Don Kendrick Real Estate. DOW Hydraulic Systems, Foothill Gold Line. Greenscape Maintenance Services Incorporated, Hacker Equipment Company, Metropolitan Water District, Pomona Valley Hospital, SoCal Gas Company, and Steven Takamatsu DDS. And Sparkler Sponsors, Brethren Hillcrest, Chase's Restaurant Laverne, Cordell Incorporated, David and Margaret Youth and Family Services, Holy Name of Mary, Hometown Rentals Incorporated, Howard Hawkins, Intellitech, Laverne Police Officers Association, N.K. Stark, McClay Services Incorporated, Mutzler Accountancy Corp., Outdoor Elegance, Pension Portfolios, RKA, Siamese Pad Thai Restaurant, VFW Post 12034, Warehouse Pizza, and WF Construction. Our in-kind sponsors are Collie Ford, Fairplex, Mike Brown Grandstand Incorporated, NHRA, Sanders, to Sanders Towing, and Waste Management. Now the parade is about to get started in just a few moments. We have a nice little breeze going through. A lot of people started camping out since yesterday, setting up their chairs and standing out all night long. And we saw people early in the morning and the streets are getting very crowded, very exciting. Definitely, definitely. And you know, I like I was saying before, it's so cool seeing all the families coming together and seeing all the little kids so excited for this. It's gonna be amazing. We'll take a short break. Up next is the Patriotic Motorcycle Salute on LVTV. day for a 4th of July parade, Haley. And you know, speaking of beautiful, we're going to toss it over to our beautiful reporter, JC. Go ahead, JC. Hi guys, so I'm actually right here on the corner 
right across from Miss Donuts, and I've got these cool kiddos over here waiting for the parade. So guys, what are you looking forward to most in this parade? Um, my cousin's going by on the motorcycle with my grandpa, passing out candy. What about you guys? I'm looking forward to seeing my grandpa in the parade again. I'm looking forward to seeing my sister and my grandpa in the parade. What about you, Carter? Um, hmm. I just want the candy. The candy? They did come prepared with bags to catch candy, you guys. All right, well, I'm going to send it back over to you guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Well, I'm just like Carter. I love candy, so that's what I'm here for, too. But those kids were so cute, Billy. They were adorable. And I wonder if they're going to be throwing candy our way, Haley. Oh, I sure hope so. That'd be awesome. Because I'm going to be getting a bag right now and be ready just like yeah. Carter was. Yeah, definitely, definitely. The uh, other events that we have today, we'll have uh, the Band of Brothers coming. We'll have Camp Laverne coming as yeah. well. And also, we're going to be, um, you know, listening to Bonita High School's band. I heard they're extremely good, so I'm really excited for that one. Very talented mm -hmm. band at Bonita High School, indeed. Yes, yes. They also have a lot of Laverne softball youth mm -hmm. programs. Yes, I Eight saw under, that too. six Definitely. under, twelve under. And then also the University of Laverne. We're going to have our own little float there too, as well. The mayor, Don Kendrick, of mm -hmm. the city of Laverne will be here today in yes. a float. Hopefully, yes. JC will be able to provide us with a very great interview yes. on the street with Don. Yes, that'll be great. And then also, I heard, I don't know if they're bringing their dogs, but the canine unit is going to be here as well. Oh, my gosh. Dogs everywhere <laughs> today for the 4th of July yes, parade. Yes. Our first... Start to the parade will be the motorcycle event. It'll be very loud in just a few moments. Yes, it's going to be here in a few minutes, so be prepared for that one. Oh, and here they come, so here we go. be a very interesting sight to see 50 flags from all 50 states. Wow, that's awesome. And you can see people just stand up on the sidewalk as they come on by. Yeah. You know, it's so amazing. We're not only seeing American flags here, we're also seeing the POW flags and the different kind of army flags and, and the veteran flags, all kind of flags going on right now. Yeah, and we also saw Abraham Lincoln driving <laughs> a motorcycle today. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome as well. Seeing all the state's flags was pretty, was pretty amazing here. The Don't Tread On Me flag, it's great.
Every single year that the motorcycle event kicks off the parade, they just increase the amount of motorcycles every single year. Wow, that's amazing. Every year, Tim Morrison and Jeff Bassler, they go ahead and put this event all together, and they're lucky enough to get all these volunteers to come out and ride their Harleys. Uh, it's got to be some type of work to organize this. Hundreds and hundreds of motorcycles yeah. after motorcycles. I mean, how many streets do you think they have to start just to get it going? Honestly, I don't even know because it looks like they're still going now and it looks like it's not going to end anytime soon. So. I don't see the end of the line no. coming anytime soon. No. Uh, there we see somewhat of an end coming. Uh, pretty remarkable. Great job by those two people. Definitely. They're coming down D Street all the way down. It must be starting must be starting all the way by in and out Bonita yeah, High School, all the way over there too. and even further. Definitely. And making a right here on Bonita Avenue in Old Town Laverne. And there's our last motorcycle as he drifts off the way. Yeah. Seeing some kids across the street pick up candy, so there's a few motorcycle people who are kind enough yeah, to throw out some candy. Yeah, go ahead and throw it out. I know that our um, reporter on the street, JC, does have somebody coming up soon. So we'll go ahead and be able to toss it to her. Okay, cool. Guys, right here I am with Hunter and their adorable dog. And right now um, there are so many cute doggos out here, but I happen to stop her. So I have to ask, what has been the favorite part of the parade so far, Hunter? What's your favorite part of the parade so far? Um, um, the motorcycles. The motorcycles? What was your favorite one? Um. The the one with the tortoise flag. Oh, nice. What's been your favorite part of this parade for, so far? Uh, yeah, definitely the motorcycles and bringing out Sky, the dog, and just walking here and enjoying the morning. So I have to, of course, ask Sky what has been your favorite part, Sky. Hard hitting journalism, guys. Back to you guys over at the table. <laughs> Gosh, Sky is incredible. Yes. We need Sky every single interview. Did you hear what he was saying? What a talker. What My a talker. Goodness. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and start with our um, friends of the 4th of July committee. So first we have Don Kendrick, um, 4th of July chair. Robin oh. Carter, 4th of July vice chair. Bill Aguirre, secretary of the fireworks show. And... Denny Sharp, the treasurer. Marsha Townsend, Pancake Breakfast. Don Frank Frankerson, Methodist Church Deep Pit Barbecue. Christy Lopez, the parade chair. Yvonne Duran, the, the county fair. Chad Peterson, facilities. Tony Estes and Romero Nunez of Public Works. Holly Savage and Corey Leeper of the police department. 
Robert Russell and Jessica Estrella of the Fire Department. Brian Bocock, Parade Organizer. Tim Morrison and Jeff Bassler, Harley Ride. And Brian McNary, the Sponsorship Coordinator. The families on the street are ready to get this parade going. Definitely, we're only just a few minutes away from the start of the City of Laverne Parade on LVTV3. I've won Olympic gold medals. But this is a race I really want to win. Ten people in America drown every day. It's the race to save lives. One in five kids are younger than me. Growing up, my mom was afraid of the water, something she did not want me to feel. So I enrolled Missy in swim lessons. Swimming became my passion. It changed my life. And now you can do the same for someone that you love. Drowning is preventable. Did you know that swim lessons reduce the risk by 88%? Yeah! Visit USASwimmingFoundation.org to find, get, or give a swim lesson. There's nothing more precious than your child's well-being. So act now before it's too late. Make a splash! I'm glad I did. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> the USA Swimming Foundation, saving lives and building champions. the 2019 4th of July Parade in Old Town Laverne. I'm Billy Lopez alongside Haley Gomez and on the street is our very own JC Theory with a very special guest. JC. Hi guys, I'm actually with Chuck here. So Chuck, tell me what brought you out to today's Laverne Parade. Well, we make this a annual event because it's such a great, well-organized parade. Nice people, everybody's happy. Everybody says thank you for your service the whole nine yards. So it's very, very uh, warming, to say the least. What makes the 4th of July so special to you? Well, it's a very important national holiday when we got under, the, get the foot off our neck from King George or whoever it was in England that was trying to tax us without any representation. And the people, probably like the people who are here today, said enough. And that was a long time ago, 1776. So it's a great holiday to, to celebrate. I mean, there's few other holidays you'd even think come close to it for what it really is to the United States. So uh, the young people, yourself included, I don't know whether you have that impetus to think like that or not, but uh, we wouldn't have the fun we're having today if we were still under the thumb of England. Awesome, thank you so much, Chuck, and thank you for your service. Happy okay. 4th of July, everyone. Back to you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Chuck. I Wow, so, that was absolutely amazing. Chuck, that's so awesome of you. Thank you so much for your service, and yeah, that was great. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Chuck, and thank you all to the veterans. It's a very special day for veterans. We see a lot of the veterans uh, pass by in the motorcycles that yes, we saw, yeah. and the route that they go down here is they'll come down D Street, they'll make a ride on Bonita, and they'll actually turn left right around the Veterans Hall that was set up just a few years ago to honor the veterans of this Laverne community. So it's a very yes. special day for veterans as well. Definitely, definitely. Well, we should be starting here in a few minutes here. I see them coming down, so get ready. It's the VFW Post 12034, the Band of Brothers to get the parade kicked off for the 2019 4th of July Parade in Old Town Laverne. LVTV3 bringing you the coverage once again. Once you hear those sirens, you know. We're ready to go here. Laverne, Laverne Police Department leading the way to get the 2019 parade kicked off. A band of brothers, a lot of retired veterans marching today.
a chance for all families to kind of wave and say hello to the Laverne Police Department. And here they come here down the corner. Looks like some family inside there alongside retired officer and serving officers. Now here comes the VFW post, 12034, the Band of Brothers. The Band of Brothers consists of the veterans of the post marching carrying military flags with music and a World War II Jeep and trailer. Marching with the flags. Wow, that World War II truck is awesome. Simply amazing. Coming up, we have the San Gabriel Valley Young Marines. Kind of fitting after we see the some of the veterans from the post marching and the World War II Jeep. Now we see the young Marines who are dedicating early things that they want to do and serve the country. Definitely. And the young Marines come from us from all the way from Azusa, California. It's great to see such dedication from some young people. Yes, and both men and women, part of the Young Marines. Yeah, and after the San Gabriel Valley Young Marines comes the Southland Young Marines. Also coming from Azusa. Their motto being, strengthening the lives of American youth. Such a cool moment for these young Marines. Hopefully their families are you know, on the sidewalk, being very proud of them, Definitely. encouraging them. Up next we have the Civil Air Patrol from a bracket composite SQ-64. The Civil Air Patrol is the auxiliary of the U.S. Air Force. Cadets and seniors from the Bracket Composite Squadron 64 will have a color guard and marching unit along with their command vehicle. You know, it's great to see not only just young men, but young women as well putting their dedication to this country. Absolutely, Haley. The Civil Air Patrol comes from a neighboring city of San Dimas. You see the command vehicle. Coming around the corner here is the Holy Name of Mary Stars and Stripes Ministry. The Stars and Stripes each year decorates the military tram and ensures that military members both walk, march, and on, are on the tram are taken care of and by providing water and other assistance. That's a sweet little tram ride. They get the shade and everything. Because now we see the Laverne Fire Department putting out all the fires that could arise. Uh, 
from Fire Paramedics Unit. And here comes our Grand Marshal. We're going to throw it over to JC to go ahead and, and speak to our Grand Marshal. Grand Marshal Patty LaTorrell. Being your, you've worked for the city of Laverne for 17 years. What makes this one so special now? I was on the school board for 17 years, but this is just so, such an honor to support the city and to, 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 to be here. I'm, I'm overwhelmed by it all. I really am. This is wonderful. I love this city. I love the school district. It's been my passion for all these years. It's perfect. So much happy for it. Grand Marshal Patty Latorell, 17 years, and uh, Mayor Don Kendrick is coming on by. Yeah, JC is going to have a word with him. So I have to ask, what makes the parade the place to be for local residents here today? Well, it's not only the place for local residents, but it's a place for residents of all over Southern California. We do patriotism better than anybody, and we love this community. So, thank you. Mayor Don Kendrick, big community supporter, working on his second term of mayor of the city of Laverne. And now we have Mayor Pro Term, Charlie Rosales. Great, awesome. Wonderful attendance, terrific day. Couldn't ask for a better day. What do you have planned after this? Oh, we'll get the uh, country fair. Don and I are going to be talking with people for about an hour. Then we have the fireworks show. Happy fourth. You Thank have you. A great one. Charlie Rosales waving on by to the little kiddos and the doggos. And coming around the corner here is a Benita High mar marching band. One of the best, not only in this community, but in Southern California. The Bonita Bearcats are really talented. I was moving and grooving. So up here coming up next is a council member, Robin Carter. How will you be spending the rest of your 4th of July today? Well, today I am going to be spending it with family at my house, so a big swim party, then going to the 4th of July show tonight. And uh, what I'd love to say is today is a special day because of our armed forces. I'd like to thank all the men and women that have served our country to give us this freedom to have a wonderful day today. So happy 4th of July to everyone. Happy 4th. Thank you. As council member Robin Carter with our very own JC, Robin Carter, passing on by with her family. So I have to ask, what's it like serving this community as Congresswoman? It's a great pleasure and an, a, really a, a pleasure to be with everybody. But this July 4th celebration is the best that I've seen. And I think that the community joins in with the families to celebrate the nation's birthday. And I think, I think they should be rewarded for it somehow. Thank you. Happy 4th of July. That was Congresswoman Grace F. Napolitano. She is the California 32nd District. She's been serving for such a long time, and her district covers a lot of cities, not only Laverne, San Dimas, Glendora, Azusa, just to name a few. Yeah, so moving on down is the Cub Scout Pack 462. Little Cub Scouts riding on their bicycles. And scooters 
coming on, on in by. the trailer here. So many smiles today on the faces of the little kids and the grown-ups, the parents. And all their little bikes are decorated so festive and patriotic. And here's council member Tim Hepburn making his way through. Tim Hepburn trailing his truck a little bit. Here's JC. How did you prepare for today's festivity? For days, for days. This is the best, one of the best times of our uh, city here. We love it. What do you have planned for the rest of the day? Uh, the fireworks, the barbecue with the police officers, the parade, the the, the fair, everything. Have a good one, Tim. Happy fourth. Take a listen to this band playing out here. It's the Paul Calvin and One Life Band. You got to be pretty talented to stand on a moving vehicle and still be able to play so well. Yeah, definitely. Cub Scout 415 on a flatbed truck, sitting on some stacks of hay. Cub Scouts trailing the flatbed truck on their bicycles, all decorated in the red, white, and blue. And look at that. Little Air Force. Wow. I want to get in one of those. Yeah, those are awesome. You got the steam coming in the back and everything. That's that. So coming around the corner here is the Boy Scout Troop 423. The Boy Scouts are on their bikes, scooters, and skateboards, all decorated for the 4th of July. Coming out of San Dimas today, and look at a wheelie. Oh. <laughs> Pretty impressive. I would have face planted right away. Oh, definitely. Boy Scout Troop 423. And here's the Holy Name of Mary pack, 423. Chanting USA. At Costa Mesa. Wow. All the little kids chanting USA. Some of these old vehicles are just so impressive to see and and a sight to see. These things are huge. Yeah, definitely. And they're such in good condition, too. You would think, you know, since they're so old that they wouldn't be in this great condition, but they look better than some of the cars driving around here. And the horns on them work very well. Yeah. <laughs> Almost as loud as the little kids. <laughs> Council member Muir Davis and JC Theory is going to get a word with Council member Muir Davis. So I have to ask, how does this parade compare to last year's? This year's awesome. Every year is an awesome year, but this one is special because it's now and we're living in the moment and we're having a great time celebrating our country and our city. So thank you. Do you have any other plans for the rest of the day? Oh, it's filled with plans. We've got. Uh, the country fair, which is going to be going on, I'll be there for Council Corner, and then the stop by the police department, have some barbecue with them, visit with some other friends and neighbors, and then tonight with the fireworks. So it's a full day. Thank Happy you. Fourth. Happy Fourth of July. Mir Davis, the senior project manager, waving on by. Next up here, we have Vanessa Hess, Youth of the Year Award. 
Hello, I have to ask, how does it get to be um, being honored this year? It feels really great, and I mean, to be rewarded in a place where I never thought I would be. Like, I do all my volunteer work just for the pure joy of doing it, and I never thought I'd be rewarded for it. So to be recognized for all my hard work, it means a lot to me. Thank you so much for all the work you do. Happy 4th, congrats. Vanessa Hess put out information on the harms of vaping and the realities of mental health issues in the community and for her work getting the Pride of Laverne Youth of the Year Award. That's so amazing for her. So coming up here, where we have the joy of seating, seeing the city of Laverne gymnastics team. Taking a look at that, my goodness. I could barely do a cartwheel, <laughs> let alone with good form. I could barely do a somersault without falling on my head. We'll leave it to the Laverne Gymnastics. Coming up here is the Laverne's outstanding American, Jim Kesterson. As being named Outstanding American this year for the parade, what's it like being named that? Uh, a big surprise. I <laughs> uh, had no expectations of this when I started doing all the things that I do for volunteering. So this is, this is a really nice treat. And being in the parade is, is really special. Happy Fourth of July. Thank right. you. I see that low rider just rise on up as they go on by Jim Kesterson, the outstanding American, city of Laverne. Uh, Laverne Fire Department, Jennifer Kesterson, the Huntington Award winner. Passes on by. Turn the corner here is the Sowing Seeds for Life. They have food pantries on the first and third Wednesdays of every month, right nearby on Arrow Highway. They serve about 6,000 people per month. And then we have the Benita Unified School District. Actually, they just finished completing their district building on Allen Avenue. Mm -hmm. So they have a new home. Have you been there, Billy? It's actually really nice. I drove past it the other day. It's beautiful. It's an amazing facility now. Yes, definitely. A lot of the superintendent there, Carl Coles. Coming around the corner here is the LVSD Educational Foundation. The float riders will be the 2019 Perseverance Award and Act of Kindness winners from all schools in Benita Unified. And then Hillcrest Retirement Community coming on by. It's a beautiful retirement community. Got to be the life. Retired, cruising on through in a parade, waving, smiling, celebrating your city, your country, and just life in general. On a great, beautiful day. Okay, someone's got bubbles going. I think I might take a take a stroll and try to pop some of those bubbles. <laughs> Rock stars of tomorrow. They're playing a little smooth criminal. Michael Jackson. Wow. Hey, are getting down. And some friendly faces here at the University of Laverne, President Devorah Lieberman. I have to 
have to ask, how are you going to be spending the rest of your day today? I am going to be thinking only about the University of Laverne and the great students at the university and the, how they're going to change this world. I see you are repping the attire. I love it. <laughs> for life, just like you. Awesome, thank you. Thank Happy you. fourth. Thank you. President Devorah Lieberman celebrating all the students, very excited. And a nice little, almost like a wagon truck yeah. going on by. There's Scott Forsythe waving. Oh, a lot and of a little the, doggo right there. Such a beautiful dog, oh my goodness. Sure, cute. Aww. Look at that. <laughs> I bet you everyone wants an interview with that dog. <laughs> Definitely. And some oh, more he of the ran workers. Off the, car. the doggo has a mind of his own. He knows where the hot spot is. <laughs> he smelled the donuts. More workers from the University of Laverne coming on by. There's Ronnie, one of the maintenance workers, waving on by. Here in the corner here is the Pomona Valley Habitat for Humanity. The Habitat is a non-profit non organization that builds and renovates homes for low-income families. And following the Habitat for Humanity is the Laverne Chamber of Commerce, kind of flatbed truck. There's Carl Hostein, the World War II veteran, moving on by in the beautiful car. 90 years old today. Wow, happy birthday. The Rotary Club of Laverne. Look at that little umbrella on that one chair. That's unique. <laughs> That's what you've been waiting for, Haley. The Laverne know, Canine and Police part. Foundation. Trying to see if they have any dogs Do on they that. they have any dogs? That's the big question. Show us the canines. <laughs> They're hiding them. They're hiding them. Such a beautiful float. Hey, got a DJ in the back. Yeah. It might not be the only DJ we see. Here's the Girl Scouts troop of 324. And get a look at the Martial Arts Academy. If I feel unsafe walking, I'm gonna take them with me. Definitely. Another DJ with the martial art campers. Some of those kids got moves. Look at him go. <laughs> He's on rhythm more than I can be. I see goodie bags in the hands of some people. Ooh, goodie bags. If I'm a kid, I'm putting my hands out. <laughs> Come
coming up next around the corner is the Drifter Jeep Club. The Spirit Award Drifter Jeep moving on by. All these Jeeps. Such a fantastic American cars. We saw some of the World War II Jeeps earlier today. You just see the evolution of the Jeeps. Whoa, check out that horn. From Jeeps to motorcycles, to council members, to the Benito Unified School District, we have it all here on the 2019 Fourth of July Parade in Old Town Laverne. I know this is off topic here, but was that an earthquake that we just felt? Or was that yeah. an earthquake? I, I, you know what? I thought I thought there was something <laughs> shaking. I thought it was just me dancing to some music yeah, I was hearing. I was like, is that the trucks or is that the earthquake <laughs> shaking? Yeah, that was definitely an earthquake. And just the thrill of this parade, like nobody felt it around <laughs> no, here. No. They're so in you know, in line with this parade and celebrating like a little shake, nothing happens. Yeah. It could have been the Jeeps. Yeah, see, that's what I thought it was at first. I was like, Man, those Jeeps are moving the streets. Either I'm crazy or we just had an earthquake. Or the Jeeps are passing through. Okay, I see some horses coming soon. Oh, here we go. There's Barna, mini replica of the 1948 antique milk truck. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, look, look at the how mini cute one. That is. You think I could still fit in that mini one? Oh, he, she has a dog with her. Look at that doggo <laughs> in there. So cute. We want dogs. Well, here's a big dog, or rather horse, coming. <laughs> the Honky Talk Screamers. Wow, that's awesome. And there are the horses. Here come the two horses. Their names are Gypsy and Dixie. Taking their horse through Old Town Laverne. And here comes the Las Flores Aquatics. How creative, look at the sharks and the jellyfish. Promoting recreational swim Fridays from 2 to 4.30. It's going to be a hot summer. And for only $3. That's awesome. Low, low price. Just as long as those sharks won't be in there. I'm on my <laughs> or way. Or jellyfish. Yeah, you don't want to get stung by those. Coming around the corner is a 1940 Ford Baldivio. Almost looks like the Citrus Baldivio. Look at this car right here. Best Bogus. antique car. Wow. I want to see the little shade pop up. Yeah, that's awesome. Get the whole look of the car. It's a 1912 Ford. Uh, got the best antique. Here's Foothill Terrace moving on by. They're going to have 20 golf carts. I've seen a few of them going by. Nice 
nice little mobile home park. All the community members of Foothill Terrace cruising on through. And their golf carts. It's a nice day to go golfing too if, if you're into golfing. Yeah, maybe we can hit that up after. A little fog machine go. And here comes Old Stump Brewing Company. They got a company truck along with the trailer float, as you see, coming on by. Wow, look at the size of that truck. It is massive. Awesome. What's up, Chris? What's up, Chris? They got the old stump brewing company out of Pomona. Rhonda Pennington from the real estate business. Along with the Jeeps coming right on. A lowrider truck. Each I say lowrider, that thing is just a centimeter away from scraping along the ground. Coming up next is Grace Church of Laverne. There are the bubbles, some big ones too. Is that a bubble or a balloon? It's a little bit of both. Yeah. Best flow indeed. Look at that. Wow. Congratulations to Grace Church of Laverne. All the work they put into that, that looks awesome. Oh yeah, you gotta get the whole church to get in involved with that. Yeah, that's great. A place to catch your breath and to catch a bubble. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy simple pleasures. Wow, that's awesome. And the float is followed by families on their bicycles, community members of the church. is the Oak Glen Apple Blossom Queens. Oh, they're so cute, the little horses. Oh, look, their tails are painted. Look at that, little donkeys. I used to have a donkey, it was a white one, and it named him Apples. Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, Apples. Oh. Moving on over, though, is <laughs> Bella Soto. Look at that beautiful horse. Wow. Just saying hello to us. Oak Glen, Apple Blossom Queen. San Dimas Charity Pro Rodeo. The rodeo happens the first weekend of October. So make sure you head down and see that. 
October 12th and 13, save the date. Equestrian excellence for the San Dimas Rodeo. And here we got the future of perhaps the Laverne softball team. Definitely. Laverne girls softball, there's a six U All-Stars. They're so cute. You won't find any more places than softball teams that have the most spirit. 6U Silver, 8U Silver. That's so cute. You know, it reminds me when I was little too playing. Just finished up a few years ago. Yeah. That makes me feel so old. <laughs> Coming up, we have the Laverne Girls Softball 10U team. The 10U. Perhaps some future UCLA Bruins as well. They won the national championship. They're so cute. I think it would be a safety hazard if they were throwing out softballs. Yeah, definitely. You don't want anyone getting hit in the face. I didn't bring the glove today, so. Nope. And just because they're softballs does not mean they're soft. They still oh, hurt. No. They still hurt. <laughs> Absolutely. Here we have the Linko Framing and Po Boys. We've had a lot of great bands. So much musical talent Definitely. coming through Old Town Laverne. Here we have the Waste of Management. Oh, a little mini garbage truck there. Oh my goodness. You know, every time I see the garbage truck, I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot to take the garbage yep. cans out. I yep. gotta run, I gotta my get out of the yells house. yells at me every time. <laughs> but today, it's good. Yeah, it's we're good. good to see him. I'm good. <laughs> Nobody yelling at us today. Not trash day today. Trash day somewhere, but not here. Think green and think clean, waste management. Massive. Now we have the Inland Valley Humane Society and SPCA. They served the community for 70 years. The Inland Valley Humane Society um, finds homes for our homeless pets. I was hoping we could see <laughs> a kitty or a doggo or something. The A4K Soccer Academy comes on by and oh, look at that. Ooh, soccer skills, ooh. That is very impressive. Wow, that's awesome. Oh my goodness. I wish I was that coordinated. And speaking about soccer, USA taking on the Netherlands this Sunday in the World Cup yep. final. Who do you think is going to win? Honestly, those girls are so good. USA, I think USA has it in the bag, but I guess you could say I'm a little biased. I think I'm right there with you. <laughs> Here we go. We have Bostero coming on up. Bostero is custom made entry doors. Moving and grooving is some Bruno Mars. The Girl Scouts of Greater Los Angeles. Troop 394. They got ages five through adult on the troop. 394. And trailing them or more Girl Scouts on the bikes. With the Girl Scout vests on. What's a 
favorite Girl Scout cookie, Haley? Probably the Tagalogs. That's the peanut butter patty. Those are my all-time favorite. What about you, Billy? You gotta go Thin Mints all the way. Those are pretty good, too. Do you like them frozen? You think we're selling them right now? Frozen and non-frozen. I'll take them. Yep. Here is the Out of Order Band. It's a longtime favorite in our Laverne Fourth of July parade. We're turning to playback year after year. Wow, that outfit is right up there with Don Pollock. Trio coming up, the All-Stars and Division Champs, Laverne Little League. Wow, how awesome. Okay, some of those kids look a little bit older than Little League. Those kids are huge. Yeah. The All-Star team and division champs. Wow, congratulations to Laverne Little League. And here come the Little League Braves. Coming from Laverne, not from Atlanta. <laughs> Who knows, maybe some of them could be Braves. Absolutely. More Laverne Little League. This one, the Rays going on by. Some sweet baby blue jerseys. Yeah. Think I found the treasure. <laughs> Come on by again, the Laverne Little League, the Pirates. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> oh. there's the treasure. Very creative. Love the pirate ship. They fired the cannon. The Diamondbacks playing the champion song music and holding the trophy. Farmer Division champions. Congratulations. Funky Monkey Designs Incorporated. That'd be cool if they had a monkey in there, huh? <laughs> I love it. A little monkey named Marcel. They got 4th of July theme with monkeys, varsity jackets, embroidery, and printing. And here's the historical unit of Southern California. Honoring the history of all who have served. Look at that. Almost looks like a little cannon. That's pretty cool. We're watching the 2019 4th of July Parade in Old Town Laverne on LVTV3, Laverne Community Television. And I'm Billy Lopez alongside Haley Gomez. With our lovely reporter on the street, JC Theory. You gotta give kudos to JC. She's been finding people today. Mm -hmm. Some pretty great people out in the community. And she looks good doing it. Mm -hmm. 
There's a little traffic jam, and you could expect a little traffic jam. And now they're getting things going again as the historical unit of Southern California continues to cruise on by. Those helmets are pretty nice, too. Yeah. We have a My Dad's Plumbing coming up. Not My Dad, but that's the name of the plumbing there. Oh, my I was Dad's. about to say. <laughs> I think there's a clog in the ACB toilet. <laughs> Best plumbing in town on a Dodge Ram. Banners and walkers. And handing out candy and some plumbing flyers. The San Dimas and Laverne Women's Club coming on down here. They meet on third Thursday of the month. Coming on down to Sports Clip Haircuts. Get the best haircut in town. Look at that little mascot going on by. I got a nice little custom car. Family time with the best classic car award. Looks great. That banana yellow. The DHC Digital Healthcare Computers coming on down that lime green truck. Oh, yes. And then coming on shortly is the Select Pool and Spa. Very clever using the pool tools there. Not a fan of those, but uh, nope. <laughs> definitely a fan of a pool. That's great. I know I'll be swimming later today. But a spa? A spa is just something else. Yeah. Next up is a Z ZR Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Watch out for these little girls. They're going to kick my butt. Uh-huh, they'll get you. That's awesome. There's the VOs. A little golf cart along with the little towing trailer. Next is the Movement Lab Ninja Training Grounds. A parkour gem. Yeah, future Ninja Warriors. Wow, that's awesome. They look very ninja-like. <laughs> Coming across here is the rich and famous barber shop. Classic barbershop look. Look at those fresh haircuts, too. Here's Liv Megan. She's a local independent artist who grew up in Laverne, and she's promoting her music and being involved in the community's activities. You go, girl. Sounds pretty good. Sounds great. Here we have the Laverne Landing. It's advertising new student housing in the community. And then following them shortly is the Faith Lutheran Church. A nice little float in there. Looks very comfy. You can have a nice little picnic in there, enjoy the fireworks show, everything.
coming around the corner here, Adoption Rocks. Adoption Rocks, they're proudly bringing awareness to adoption. There's so many who need a loving home. However motherhood comes and fatherhood, Adoption Rocks. That's awesome. Kids. Freedom Football Club. Future USA stars yeah. for the women's team. The next Alex Morgan and the next Megan Rapino. Coming up, we have the Glendora Music and Art School. Have fun, learn music, and give back is their motto. They not only have music, but they also have acting and dancing. And great clips. It's going to be great in Pomona and in Laverne. They said that they're going to be giving out some coupons from there. So get on close. This here's Precision Dents. Faintless dent repair. Fix your little fender bender problems. <laughs> Kenny Murray pulls. There's the beach balls. Little surfboards, boogie boards. Grandma on the back getting her groove on. Oh, you go, girl. Look at that floss. Clean as Listerine. <laughs> There's Camp Laverne. Looks like Ken Fucci's truck. Coming up the corner here, we have Envy All Stars. The cheer team here. Oh, wow. How awesome. Oh, here we go. Wow. Wow, that was great. That was scary. <laughs> There's the sheriff. Sheriff, search and rescue. Oh, 
one man. The street sweeper is coming on shortly. That usually means parking tickets for me. <laughs> well, not today. We don't have to worry about that one today. The 4th of July 2019 parade here in Old Town Laverne. Billy Lopez alongside Haley Gomez. We just saw the end of the parade, but there's still some special guests with JC Theory. So I've got a great group of looking, um, patriotic looking kiddos over here. So who, who had the most fun over here? Somebody tell me. Yes? Okay, I've got a lot. Okay. Who has the most candy? Me. A lot of kids. <laughs> okay. What was your favorite, what was your favorite float that you guys saw? Anyone? Anyone? I think it was the, um, I think it was like the, the one where uh, it had a, like, it was a, a little ledge one. Awesome. And I heard a fire truck over here. I, I like the band. I, I like the fire truck that um, had a bunch of firemen in it. Awesome. And then what are you guys going to do later after this? Are you guys going to go see any fireworks? Gonna, Swimming? Okay. Swimming and we're going to see fireworks. Yeah. Can I get you guys all to say happy 4th of July to everyone? Happy 4th of July! Back to you guys. That was awesome, JC. We hope you enjoyed LVTV's coverage of the 4th of July parade. You know, my favorite part was, like I said, seeing everybody come together and seeing all these magnificent floats going on here. What was your favorite part? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Just seeing a lot of the kids from the martial arts, um, from the gymnastics, from the softball teams, everything, just having a blast out here and seeing these kids that are going to be the future of this community and the future of this world. It's nice to see them coming out and celebrating 4th of July together. From the city of Laverne, friends and family, Billy Lopez, JC Theory, and the entire LVTV crew, I'm Haley Gomez, and thank you guys so much for watching. Happy 4th of July! July.